Hey guys, Urban Suburban here. Got a quick video for you tonight. This will be my first ever and possibly only flashlight review. I mentioned a few videos back that I just had to do this video. There has been a ton of other videos. There's a ton of videos on YouTube uh, in regards to this flashlight, uh, reviews, uh, everything. But I said I had to do it because I've had this flashlight for probably three years now, I want to say. Carried it every day and I absolutely love it. It is one of my favorite pieces of gear. It has never let me down. Uh, it is, other than when I actually thought I lost it and was rather upset, <laughs> but uh, it is fantastic. And of course, it is the Streamlight MicroStream, if it'll focus. There we go. As you can see, it's well used. The anodization is pretty much worn off around the bevel there. Uh, it's all scratched up. Um, like I said, I've literally carried this thing probably 90% of the time for the last three years in my pocket. This is on my person all the time. And that's a huge chunk of the reason why I love this thing so much because it is just so easy to carry. I mean, it is 3.6 inches, perfect clip. This goes in my left pocket and a folding knife is in my right pocket every single day and to be honest I use this probably almost as much as my knives it's just it's perfect I, I don't know what else to say about it um, I guess I'll give you some of the specs if you haven't watched any of the other million videos that are out there on it or you've forgotten of course it's a machined aluminum body uh, type 3 mil spec black anodization on it which is held up well I think this is probably worn out because this goes in the same pocket as uh, if I have any change or keys, uh, my work keys. So it is constantly banging on other metal objects in my pocket. So considering that, it is held up very well. Like I said, 3.6 inch length with a 0.6 inch diameter. Uh, the weight on this is another reason I like it. 1.1 ounces and that is with the battery. This takes of course one triple-A battery so the battery as well as a flashlight 1.1 ounces you you almost you don't notice it in your pocket you really don't uh, it's got a polycarbonate lens which they claim is unbreakable it's a C4 LED the Cree LED in there really nice and bright and clear uh, it's 35 lumens so of course it's not uh, you're not gonna be using this as a spotlight or anything like that but I mean it fits in the palm of your hand of course it's not going to be that bright. 35 lumens is perfect for what this is intended for and for what I use it for anyway. Two and a quarter hour runtime if you leave it on. Uh, in the last three years I've probably changed the battery twice. So one battery probably lost me close to a year. And like I said because of the, what I use this for. Uh, it is IPX4 rated for water resistance. I can back that up as this has gone through the laundry full cycles a minimum of two times. Because like I said, it is always in my pocket, my pants pocket. And being a dude, I often uh, don't properly empty my pockets before things get thrown in the laundry. And on at least two occasions in the last year, my wife has told me that she's pulled this out of the bottom of the washing machine when she <laughs> was pulling the laundry out after it was done. So not only did it get wet or submerged, this thing went, we have front load uh, laundry pair. This thing went around and around and around being agitated and with soap and all kinds of stuff and works completely fine. Didn't have to change the batteries, nothing. It's obviously, the end is O-ring sealed. I have not had to change the uh, O-ring at all. That's the original O-ring. Still in perfect shape. Uh, 
This does come with a spare, I believe it came with a spare uh, tail switch cover, the rubber piece. Mine is not worn out yet. It's still in basically perfect condition. It also came with a lanyard, which I have never used uh, because I wear it in my pocket with a clip, just like I would with a folding blade. Clip is perfection. There's enough retention there. This does not fall out of my pocket. I, I actually I shouldn't say that. It has fallen out of my pocket. If I have sat in, if you if I sit down in a certain way and this is sitting in a certain position in my pocket, uh, it can sort of pop out because it's fairly smooth. There's not a lot of friction against the pocket. But that's only happened probably two or three times in three years, so I can live with that. Um, it's got this really unique clip system where this part of the clip you can put it on a the peak of a ball cap and use it as a headlamp. I've done that before. Works really well, but of course you got to remember you only have about a two and a quarter hour runtime, so you probably don't want to be using this as your main headlamp if you're camping or hiking or something like that. Like I said, I use this for it's my EDC light. It's in my pocket all the time. If I drop my keys at night, I got this light. If I drop something in the car and it rolls under the seat and I got to look under the seat, I got this light. If I drop something behind uh, my desk at work, I have this light. That's what I use this for. So it's only 20, 30 seconds at a time, maybe a minute, which is why the battery has lasted me so long each time. But it's perfect. It's You have a light for all those times when you wish you'd had one and you didn't. So easy to carry. If you're a, If you're a woman, you can throw this in a purse, even in a really small purse, and it doesn't take any room. You can throw it in your pants pocket. If you, even if you don't want to clip it, just throw it in your pocket. It'll fall down in your pocket. You won't even notice it. It's smaller than any knife. And just, I would say, as useful. It's fantastic. Um, I really can't say enough about it. I do have, I know there's, right now there's a ton of YouTube videos out there, guys. Uh, with big channels that are putting out a lot of flashlight videos and I, some guys are just into lights like other guys are into knives and like collecting them uh, I'm not one of those guys to me it's strictly a tool to be used and um, I really have no really desire to check out any of the other lights I'm sure there are some other fantastic lights out there by Prion or uh, trying to think of some of the other ones that are really popular right now. Uh, Through Night. Um, I'm sure they make great, great lights, but I just don't have the desire to check them out because to me, this is already perfection. It's It can't be any better. Um, other than you have to like black because it comes in black and black and black and that's it. But again, for a tiny little pocket light, no big deal. Now, I have tried a few other lights out uh, right around the time that I purchased this. I also got the Streamlight Stylus Pro. Uh, basically because this is Nut and Fancy's absolutely favorite light. And it's a great light. I'll, it's uh, basically a two battery version of the MicroStream. This one takes two double A's. So it's a few more lumens, a little longer run time. But uh, it just doesn't fit in your pocket as well because it's so long. And so I don't carry it. I keep this in one of my um, EDC bags. And then it's great. It's great to use when you have it. But I'm not going to carry this in my pocket. And same with this. This is a uh, Terralux, I think, Light, yeah, Lightstar 80. Which is also, it's also a two AAA battery flashlight. A little bit bigger than the stylus. A little bit uh, bigger diameter. I believe it's a few more lumens as well. Uh, again, really great light. Um, but for me, it's a little too big to carry in my pocket. So this is in one of my other EDC bags. So that whichever bag I carry, I have a flashlight in it that's slightly more capable than this. Which I think is a good idea. Like I said, this is always in my pocket. So no matter what, I have this. But I almost always also have one of my EDC bags with me. And if I need something a little more powerful or that's going to last a little longer, I have one of these for sure. Um, and then if I want something really powerful, then I'll go to my Phoenix TK15, uh, which has 
for brightness settings and the brightest is literally blinding and that's what it's for it's a tactical light and that's to really throw a good beam or to blind an assailant and of course it also has strobe which will really F you up but that does not get carried in my pocket as well but anyway guys the video is about this one and like I said it is damn near perfection as far as I'm concerned uh, and then of course for the price I think even at home in Canada here you're looking twenty dollars for this thing um, so if I if I had lost this which I thought I had about a month ago but <laughs> of course it turned out it was in the laundry uh, I was gonna I was actually heading out that day to grab a new one and maybe even two because for 20 bucks I just I couldn't be without one but here she is nice and clean now after being through the laundry and like I said works perfectly so anyway guys hope you guys found that uh, helpful and like I said I know there's probably 500 other videos and reviews of this uh, little light on YouTube but like I said I had to make a video because I love this light so much and like I said it's been through the laundry I've dropped it dozens of times I've dropped it either on hardwoods on carpet on right on concrete and other than wear and tear on the finish absolutely no issues with it it's uh, still functions 100% perfectly every time so if you're in the market for a, an EDC light or you don't have one pick one of these up Trust me, you'll not regret it. It is fantastic. Anyway, guys, this has been Urban Silver with another video for you. Guys, take care. We'll talk to you soon.